other news this afternoon. The Tonka is now trying to get that money back. Cindy? Turning to other news again, perhaps one of the most remarkable aspects of cancer is the lengths that people will go, some people will go to cure it. Most of us can remember the Laetrile debate, for example. Well, now there's another controversial purported cure. It's called Tumorex, and a number of Minnesotans who've used it call it a flimflam. Tonight, Neil Murray culminates a two-month investigation of Tumorex. Neil joins us now on your behalf with the first part of five parts of Tumorex, the ultimate ripoff. Neil? Thank you, Cindy. Uh, we do not know the exact origin of Tumorex, but its promoters have been pushing it for the last two years as a cancer cure, and that has attracted many cancer patients who are desperately trying to stay alive. We begin our series tonight with two Minnesotans who received Tumorex. Neither received positive results. And at the time, things were not going well for me. I, after Christmas that year, my breast had flared up. It was very inflamed. Two and a half years ago, doctors told Betty Eggert she had advanced cancer of the breast. The cancer was beyond surgery. And when it resisted chemotherapy and other standard medical treatments, Betty was willing to try just about anything to stop the cancer from spreading. That's when another patient told Eggert about a wonder drug called Tumorex available in Tijuana, Mexico, through a businessman in California. And so when I heard about this treatment that no side effects, you know, you don't get sick from it, and he's guaranteeing you that you can get it as many times until your cancer is cured. So that sounded worth a try. Betty Eggert stated she paid $2,500 for a series of Tumorex injections. It did nothing whatsoever to stop the cancer. I guess I still feel like I'd like my money back from Rudy because he's, he's, I feel like he's taking people. And I feel that with what he said, like my cancer would be a piece of cake to heal, you know, he's just not living up to, Tumorex isn't living up to what he cracked it out to be. Fred Peterson, a prostate cancer patient in Bloomington, also paid $2,500 for Tumorex injections in Mexico. At the time, he thought it was the right decision, but began to have doubts as soon as he returned home. The thing that disappointed me was the fact that I tended to run into trouble 10 days after I got home. I got into an awful lot of pain. And... Uh, Finally loaded, had a doctor load me up with uh, morphine pills. Did Tumorex in any way stop your cancer? I can see no way that it stopped the cancer. In this series, our On Your Behalf unit will retrace the steps that Betty Eggert and Fred Peterson took to Mexico. Many, many others have followed the same trail, being told they would be cured of cancer. But our investigation will show that of the 30 patients we reviewed, not one who has taken Tumorex treatments has been cured. In fact, nearly half of them are now dead. And the promoters continue to operate, selling false hopes to cancer patients throughout the country. When it's your life you're talking about, you try most anything. Tomorrow night, we'll take you to Phoenix, Arizona, where police have already taken bold steps to stop the promotion of Tumorex. We'll also show you what Tumorex is really made of. You'll be surprised. All right, thank you, Neil. That's tomorrow night. Turning now to sports, a $100,000 winner at the Met. Tumorex, you may not have heard of it, but if you are a cancer patient, you may have been told that Tumorex can cure you. But can it? Neil Murray and our On Your Behalf unit investigated Tumorex and made some surprising discoveries about this so-called cancer cure. Neil's here right now to continue his week-long series on this matter, Neil. Yes, Stan. For the past two years, Tumorex has been a big mystery to cancer patients. Except for its promoters, no one really knew what was inside this so-called wonder drug. But now we know, thanks to Arizona authorities, who last year seized several containers of Tumorex. Two Arizona men were arrested last year, one a so-called doctor of divinity and the other an osteopath. They were caught by undercover police in Phoenix while pushing Tumorex as a cancer cure. During the arrest, police for the first time seized bottles of Tumorex, this so-called wonder drug. The two men have been indicted on felony charges of fraud and conspiracy and will go on trial next month. Well, there is no scientific evidence whatsoever that it is a cure for cancer, and there is certainly no scientific or factual evidence, uh, according to the indictment from the grand jury, that the representations that these people made about Tumorex is true, that it has cured 300 people, that it uh, uh, has a 95 or an excess of 90 percent success rate. Uh, there is no evidence to support that. 
This is an actual bottle of Tumorex, one of eight bottles seized by the Arizona Department of Public Safety from two perpetrators who have been indicted here in the state of Arizona. If this had been purchased from the perpetrators, it would have cost about $7,000. But our investigation shows Tumorex, this so-called cancer cure, is nothing more than a common amino acid known as L-arginine. L-arginine can be found in health food stores around the country and right here in the Twin Cities. It's used by bodybuilders and dieters. But instead of spending $7,000 for Tumorex, you can buy this bottle of L-arginine for only $5.95. And you don't have to sneak into Mexico to get it. Above all, it does not cure cancer. Laboratory tests completed at the University of California are now in the hands of Arizona authorities. The Food and Drug Administration calls Tumorex an illegal drug because no proof has ever been offered that it works as a cancer cure. Arizona police say the false claims made by the men arrested only make this case worse. Well, what we have here is we have people that are, that are interested in making the bucks, that's all. And what they're doing actually is they're, they're, they're playing on the on the lifestyle of a person who is in the, in the process of, of dying of, of cancer and is willing to do anything. We, we've talked to people who have, have told us that they don't mind paying 3500 or 2500 They'd pay 25000 if they could come across something that was going to save their wife or their mother or their father or what have you. So what they've done is they've taken advantage of the situation. Except for the Arizona case, promoters of Tumorex have been very careful to stay just outside the grasp of police. Tumorex is being promoted on an Indian reservation near Reno, Nevada. It is also being offered near the Mexican border in Brownsville, Texas, and San Ysidro, California. In each case, the cancer patient is escorted or driven to Mexico for the actual injections. On your behalf, went to California near the Mexican border, where a number of Minnesota cancer patients have been told to contact one Rudy Minute. According to Arizona officials, Rudy Minute can easily be connected with the two men arrested in Arizona. <laughs> but your Ben's Rudy Minute know him. Uh, in fact, uh, we have information that uh, one of our parties, uh, the Doctor of Divinity, Mr. Anderson, uh, was receiving his Tumorex from uh, one Mr. Rudy Minute from San Ysidro, California. Rudy Minute is apparently behind most of the promotion of Tumorex. Well, tomorrow night we'll take you right to his main place of business, a motel in San Ysidro, California, just about four miles north of the Mexican border. Neil, five dollars and ninety-five cents for a bottle of that stuff that otherwise was what seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars under the name Tumorex doesn't cure cancer. I don't think it cures anything. All right, thank you, Neil. Tomorrow night, Cindy. All right, from California now we go back to Minnesota. We're Jason Trinity's in the Twin Cities and community events with Terry Beadle. And still ahead in the news, Neil Murray will explain just what you'll find in a bottle of Tumorex, the cancer-curing wonder drug. President, is it? Mm, President Reagan may face tough questions about the... Uh, 26 now past 6 in the morning, 29 degrees in the Twin Cities. Our special health series continues this morning, and for the past two years, Tumorex has been a mystery. It's been called a wonder drug for many p cancer patients, but really the question is, is it? Unfortunately, Karen, it's not. Mm. As a matter of fact, it wasn't until just recently that we even knew what, was, what it was made of. And our On Your Behalf specialist, Neil Murray, now takes us to Arizona to find out more. Two Arizona men were arrested last year, one a so-called doctor of divinity and the other an osteopath. They were caught by undercover police in Phoenix while pushing Tumorex as a cancer cure. During the arrest, police for the first time seized bottles of Tumorex, this so-called wonder drug. The two men have been indicted on felony charges of fraud and conspiracy and will go on trial next month. Well, there is no scientific evidence whatsoever that it is a cure for cancer, and there is certainly no scientific or factual evidence, uh, according to the indictment from the grand jury, that the representations that these people made about Tumorex is true, that it has cured 300 people, that it uh, uh, has a 95 or an excess of 90 percent success rate. Uh, there is no evidence to support that. This is an actual bottle of Tumorex one of eight bottles seized by the Arizona Department of Public Safety from two perpetrators who have been indicted here in the state of Arizona. If this had been purchased from the perpetrators, it would have cost about $7,000. But our investigation shows Tumorex, this so-called cancer cure, is nothing more than a common amino acid known as L-arginine. L-arginine can be found in health food stores around the country and right here in the Twin Cities. It's used by bodybuilders and dieters. 
But instead of spending $7,000 for Tumorex, you can buy this bottle of L-Arginine for only $5.95, and you don't have to sneak into Mexico to get it. Above all, it does not cure cancer. Laboratory tests completed at the University of California are now in the hands of Arizona authorities. The Food and Drug Administration calls Tumorex an illegal drug because no proof has ever been offered that it works as a cancer cure. Arizona police say the false claims made by the men arrested only make this case worse. Well, what we have here is we have people that are, that are interested in making the bucks, that's all. And what they're doing actually is they're, they're, they're playing on the, on the lifestyle of a person who is in the, in the process of, of dying of, of cancer and is willing to do anything. We, we've talked to people who have, have told us that they don't mind paying 3500 or 2500 They'd pay 25000 if they could come across something that was going to save their wife or their mother or their father or what have you. So what they've done is they've taken advantage of the situation. Except for the Arizona case, promoters of Tumorex have been very careful to stay just outside the grasp of police. Tumorex is being promoted on an Indian reservation near Reno, Nevada. It is also being offered near the Mexican border in Brownsville, Texas, and San Ysidro, California. In each case, the cancer patient is escorted or driven to Mexico for the actual injections. On your behalf, went to California near the Mexican border, where a number of Minnesota cancer patients have been told to contact one Rudy Minute. According to Arizona officials, Rudy Minute can easily be connected with the two men arrested in Arizona. <laughs> I bet your band's Rudy Minute know uh, In fact, uh, we have information that uh, one of our parties, uh, the Doctor of Divinity, Mr. Anderson, uh, was receiving his Tumorex from. Uh, one Mr. Rudy Minute from San Ysidro, California. Hmm. And tomorrow, Neil Murray will take us to Rudy Minute's place of business. Really a remarkable story. 29 minutes now past 6 o'clock, 29 degrees in the Twin Cities. And we tonight at about 10.15. Right, old Cindy. We should mention tonight at about 10.15, 10.30 probably after the President's news conference, Neil Murray pursues the trail of Tumorex and the people who are promoting this so-called cancer cure are on your behalf. Unit goes to San Ysidro, California, where hundreds of cancer patients are paying as much as $3,000 to stop their cancer. We'll find out how this scheme works at 10. Please join us. Good night. Officials urging a big fine against a factory in St. Bonifacius. Garbage haulers truck their anti-tax complaints to the state capitol. Neil Murray's investigation of an alleged cancer treatment, Tumor X, takes you to Mexico. And Bob Bruce is back tonight. The injuries to passenger and pilot were minor. Stan? Mm, okay, Cindy. Tonight, Neil Murray takes us to San Ysidro, California, and then on to Mexico. That's where hundreds of cancer patients are being taken, literally, paying as much as $3,000 for injections they are told will cure their cancer. Here now is Neil on your behalf with part three of what we call Tumorex, the ultimate ripoff. Neil? Yes, Stan. Last night, we showed you that Tumorex is nothing more than a common amino acid you can get in a health food store for about six dollars. It's commonly called L-arginine. The problem is cancer patients who go to Mexico for treatment don't know that and they end up paying as much as three thousand dollars for the same thing. This article in which a California man Walt Schneider claims to have been cured of cancer gets the attention of many cancer patients around the country. Schneider then tells people who call him to talk with Rudy Minute. Minute, a California businessman, has this audio cassette available which claims Tumorex can stop cancer. We regularly put cancer patients into remission. We regularly reduce tumors in size very, very rapidly. And we get remission and regression of tumors in a matter of two weeks. We asked medical specialist Dr. Michael Breen to check with his medical sources on Tumorex. You're dealing with a situation where Tumorex is so self-evidently uh, not effective and bogus that physicians are very hesitant to restate the obvious. Tumorex is an illegal drug in the United States, so all cancer victims who are willing to pay $3,000 for injections of this so-called cancer cure are instructed to come here to the Best Western Valley High Motel in San Ysidro, California, a mere four miles north of the border entry into Tijuana, Mexico, which you can see on the hills behind me. We stayed in the same motel to find out how cancer patients were receiving the Tumorex injections. The procedure we monitored was the same procedure described by cancer patient Betty Eggert, who took the same so-called cancer treatments several months earlier in Tijuana, Mexico. After 
everyone had gathered and they'd start filling the cars up, they'd check to make sure that they had everyone in a car. Going into Mexico was no problem. They usually just waved you through and you didn't have a wait at all. They would um, drive to the clinic and the clinic was on the second floor. They would call you into the office and Dr. Palifax would give you an intravenous injection of turmeric. They would put it right into the, to the blood vein. Sometimes people that were not able to take the stairs, Dr. Palifax would leave his office and go down to the cars to give them their injections. Once, the, once you got back to the motel, you were through for the day. After On Your Behalf followed the journey to Mexico and back, we confronted the driver of one of the cars. We were attempting to find the main promoters of Tumorex, Rudy Minute or his daughter, Carol. Uh, Carol Minute? No. No Carol Minute here? No, sir. Do you know her? No. We later showed the tape to Betty Eggert. Carol Minute? No. No Carol Minute here? No, sir. Do you know her? No. <laughs> Come on, Harry, that was a fib. <laughs> uh, we're doing an investigation into Tumorex. Tumorex? What is Tumorex? Tumorex is an illegal... They hired her um, so right about the time that I was down there the first the time. Rory was pretty much in charge of getting people over there and seeing that everybody uh, got their injections and so forth. You know Eggert also gave us a positive identification of Carol Minute. That's Carol right there. The one in the white blouse? Yes, with right. the blonde hair. Are you sure? I'm positive. She picked me up at the airport the last time I was there. We visited. I'm, I'm sure it's her. We have tried repeatedly to get in touch with Tumorex promoters Rudy and Carol Minute. They won't return our calls, but last week we received this letter from Carol Minute, and they are threatening on your behalf with a lawsuit for harassing their patients and associates. Tomorrow night we'll show you what they refer to as harassment. You can be the judge. Threatening with a lawsuit, eh? <laughs> okay, we'll check that one out later. Thank you, Neil. Well, this is an old ploy, but farmers near Thief River Falls say they had... Suburban Newport yesterday, the pilot and the passenger were able to walk away. Neil Murray will continue his series of reports on Tumorex, the so-called cancer cure. President Reagan faced reporters last night defending his Middle East policies and denying that Secretary of State should... Sure. Good right. and bad. Yeah. I think so. Okay, thanks, Ed. Well, cancer patients across the country and here in Minnesota have been paying up to $3,000 for an injection of Tumorex, which they were told was a cure for cancer, but as we've been telling you, it's not. Unfortunately, it is not. Tumorex actually is made up of a common amino acid, and you can buy it at a health food store for about $6 a bottle, a lot less than what folks are paying. Our On Your Behalf specialist, Neil Murray, takes us to Mexico today for more on that controversy. This article, in which a California man, Walt Schneider, claims to have been cured of cancer, gets the attention of many cancer patients around the country. Schneider then tells people who call him to talk with Rudy Minute. Minute, a California businessman, has this audio cassette available, which claims Tumorex can stop cancer. We regularly put cancer patients into remission. We regularly reduce tumors in size very, very rapidly, and we get remission and regression of tumors in a matter of two weeks. We asked medical specialist Dr. Michael Breen to check with his medical sources on Tumorex. You're dealing with a situation where Tumorex is so self-evidently uh, not effective and bogus that physicians are very hesitant to restate the obvious. Tumorex is an illegal drug in the United States. So all cancer victims who are willing to pay $3,000 for injections of this so-called cancer cure are instructed to come here to the Best Western Valley High Motel in San Ysidro, California, a mere four miles north of the border entry into Tijuana, Mexico, which you can see on the hills behind me. We stayed in the same motel to find out how cancer patients were receiving the Tumorex injections. The procedure we monitored was the same procedure described by cancer patient Betty Eggert, who took the same so-called cancer treatments several months earlier in Tijuana, Mexico. After everyone had gathered and they'd start filling the cars up, they'd check to make sure that they had everyone in a car. Going into Mexico was no problem. They usually just waved you through and you didn't have a wait at all. They would um, drive to the clinic 
And the clinic was on the second floor. They would call you into the office and Dr. Palifax would give you an intravenous injection of Tumorex. They would put it right into the, to the blood vein. Sometimes people that were not able to take the stairs, Dr. Palifax would leave his office and go down to the cars to give them their injections. Once, the, once you got back to the motel, you were through for the day. After On Your Behalf followed the journey to Mexico and back, we confronted the driver of one of the cars. We were attempting to find the main promoters of Tumorex, Rudy Minute or his daughter, Carol. Uh, Carol Minute? No. No Carol Minute here? No, sir. Do you know her? No. We later showed the tape to Betty Eggert. Carol Minute? No. No Carol Minute here? No, sir. Do you know her? No. <laughs> Come on, Harry, that was a fib. <laughs> Uh, we're doing an investigation into Tumorex. Tumorex? What is Tumorex? Tumorex is an illegal... They hired her um, right about the time that I was down there the first time. Rory was pretty much in charge of getting people over there and seeing that everybody got their injections and so forth. Eggert also gave us a positive identification of Carol Minute. That's Carol right there. The one in the white blouse? Yes, with right. the blonde hair. Are you sure? I'm positive. She picked me up at the airport the last time I was there. We visited. I'm, I'm sure it's her. The On Your Behalf team tried to get in touch with the Tumorex promoters, but their calls were never returned. They did, however, get a letter from them threatening to sue our On Your Behalf team for harassing their patients and associates. And we will have that report tomorrow. Right now, our time is 29 before the hour. It's 35 degrees. Meteorologist Karen Falloon says uh, some record highs were set. <laughs> oh, well, we always no, have to we... throw Northwestern comes to That's town. Right. We have to throw in the fact that Cindy went to Northwestern. We know how that'll come out. The right only now. time I'll take the side against the University of Minnesota. <laughs> Tonight coming up at 10, Neil Murray tries to stop some cancer patients from wasting $3,000 on a false cancer fear. We'll tell you how, how we did it and what happened at 10. See you then. Good night. Good night. Pork flex their muscles again today, earning them some trips to jail. A four-alarm furnace obliterated a South Minneapolis landmark. And Neil Murray asks more tough questions about Tumorex, the costly alleged cancer treatment. And the North Stars finally land the flyer. Bet. That, I bet. Thanks a lot, Dennis. Sure. Much more news just ahead tonight on the update, including the fourth part of Neil Murray's investigation of an alleged cancer treatment on your behalf. That is next. Here's another pair of winner winners from Ford. Leg looks. It isn't a look without leg looks. Tonight we continue our series on Tumorex, the ultimate ripoff, we call it. Over the last two years, a large number of cancer patients, including Minnesotans, have gone off to Mexico in search of a cancer cure. But an on your behalf investigation headed up here by Neil Murray shows those who have received the treatments have been duped. Here is Neil now with part four, Neil. Thank you, Stan. As we told you last night, On Your Behalf has been threatened with a lawsuit. The promoters of Tumorex say we harassed their patients when we were in California about three weeks ago. Actually, a lawsuit might force the promoters of Tumorex out into the open. We can get them to answer some of our questions about this so-called cancer cure. When cancer patients decide they want to receive Tumorex, they are told to bring $3,000 and to meet here at the Valley High Motel in San Ysidro, California, just about four miles from Mexico. Patients are then driven across the border to Tijuana, where this man, Dr. Palifax, gives them a series of Tumorex injections. This procedure may last two to three weeks. The program is run by Rudy Minute and his daughter, Carol. The trips are made to Mexico because Tumorex has been labeled an illegal drug by the Food and Drug Administration, and to this day, it has not been shown to be effective whatsoever against cancer. In addition, two Arizona men are now facing felony charges of fraud and conspiracy for selling Tumorex injections for $3,500. They did not tell patients Tumorex is nothing more than a common amino acid, L-arginine, that can be purchased at nearly any health food store for less than $6. On your behalf, attempted to relay the same information to cancer patients in California who had returned from a trip to Tijuana with Minute's associates. This is what happened. We came from Minnesota through Arizona. I want you to just read that. This is a from, from Arizona. 
No, Tumorex is not a cancer cure. It's a ripoff. Two people were arrested in Arizona by a state grand jury uh -huh. on the 1st of February. And we're out here now, just we're letting people know. I see. But it's, it's, we, don't know, we don't know anything. Uh, but you were driven to see Dr. Palifax today. No, he was today. They went over to buy to. We, we followed you when you got in the car. I know. But we went over to see with the clinic and the doctor, but we didn't bother with those. Which clinic would that be? Where Dr. Palifax is? We don't know. No comment. You're not familiar with Tumorex? You're not here for any? No comment. Okay. That was fun. No comment. We don't know anything. This is true. I, I think most people get into these programs because it's the last great hope that you have of adding either quality or quantity to your life. Um, I think uh, anybody who expects to be saved is probably being terribly naive. If, uh, if I come back from California and I say, Mr. Minute has saved me with this treatment, I would say that I was terribly naive. So far, nothing has been done to stop the promoters of Tumorex in the California area, but that may soon change. California authorities have asked on your behalf to send them the information our investigation has un uncovered, and we'll talk to you about that tomorrow night. Neil, have you heard anything more about the threatened lawsuit against you? That's Us? a really weak and hollow threat. Okay, all right. We'll check with you tomorrow night. Thank you. Cindy? The Justice Department has closed the books on the matter of how Jimmy Carter's briefing materials got into the Reagan campaign hands. Yeah, detecting breast cancer is being used in the Twin Cities. We'll tell you about that, and Neil Murray continues his report on the so-called cancer cure Tumorex. And the names 3M in Minnesota, just about synonymous events for the upcoming weekend. And in the news this morning, there are grumblings in the medical community as doctors are asked to freeze their fees. And Neil Murray tells us about Tumorex, a so-called cancer cure. Secretary of State George Shultz is holding his head high amid rumors that... 26 minutes now past 6 o'clock and 26 degrees in the Twin Cities. You know, over the past two years, a large number of cancer patients, including Minnesotans, have gone to Mexico in search of a cancer cure. Some of them have spent literally thousands of dollars and to no avail. Well, as we told you yesterday, the promoters of the alleged cure called Tumor X are threatening to sue our On Your Behalf unit for harassing their patients and their associates. But as Neil Murray tells us, well, that might not be all bad. He says it would force the promoters to answer some questions about the alleged cure. When cancer patients decide they want to receive Tumorex, they are told to bring $3,000 and to meet here at the Valley High Motel in San Ysidro, California, just about four miles from Mexico. Patients are then driven across the border to Tijuana, where this man, Dr. Palifax, gives them a series of Tumorex injections. This procedure may last two to three weeks. The program is run by Rudy Minute and his daughter, Carol. The trips are made to Mexico because Tumorex has been labeled an illegal drug by the Food and Drug Administration, and to this day, it has not been shown to be effective whatsoever against cancer. In addition, two Arizona men are now facing felony charges of fraud and conspiracy for selling Tumorex injections for $3,500. They did not tell patients Tumorex is nothing more than a common amino acid, L-arginine, that can be purchased at nearly any health food store for less than $6. On your behalf, attempted to relay the same information to cancer patients in California who had returned from a trip to Tijuana with Minute's associates. This is what happened. We came from Minnesota through Arizona. I want you to just read that. This is a from, Min from Arizona. Oh. Tumorex is not a cancer cure. It's a ripoff. Two people were arrested in Arizona by a state grand jury uh -huh. on the 1st of February. And we're out here now, just we're letting people know. I see. But it's, it's, we, don't, we, don't, no comment. we don't know anything. Uh, but you were driven to see Dr. Palifax today. No, he was today. They went over to buy to. We, we followed you when you got in the car. I know. But we went over to see with the clinic and the doctor, but we didn't bother with those. Which doctors. clinic would that be? Where Dr. Palifax is? Even know. We don't know. No comment. We're You're not, not familiar with Tumorex? You're not here for any? No comment. Okay. That was fun. So we, no comment. We don't know anything. Okay. This is true. 
I, I think most people get into these programs because it's the last great hope that you have of adding either quality or quantity to your life. Um, I think uh, anybody who expects to be saved is probably being terribly naive. If, uh, if I come back from California and I say, Mr. Minute has saved me with this treatment, I would say that I was terribly naive. Well, so far, nothing has been done to stop the promoters of Tumorex, but that may soon change. California authorities are asking our On Your Behalf team for the information they undercovered in their investigation to help them. And Neil will wrap up this series on Tumorex tonight on the Eyewitness News Update at 10 o'clock. We hope that you can join us for that. Well, Karen, it's no secret the cost of medical care has been skyrocketing. Americans now paying $325 billion a year for health care. That's the bad news. The good news well, is a lot of fun. A lot of fun. How can, well, I guess I'll have to ask you this at 10. We've got to move along right. here, Robert. Thank you. Tonight on the update at 10 o'clock, Neil Murray will be here to tell us what police out west have in mind to stop the promoters of Tumorex, the so-called cancer cure. Hundreds of cancer patients from all over the country have paid as much as $3,000 for bogus cancer-curing injections in Tijuana, Mexico. But while the promoters have been very careful to avoid prosecution, their days may be numbered. Neil will tell us more about that tonight at 10 in the final segment of our special On Your Behalf series, Tumorex, the ultimate ripoff. We'll see you with that and the roundup of the rest of the day's news at 10. Good evening. Good night. Mother and grandmother, and he'll soon be moved to a rehabilitation center in Chicago. We'll keep you posted on that. Nice story. Mm -hmm. Up next, the conclusion of our special series on Tumorex. Neil Murray will wrap up his investigation into the drug that's supposed to cure cancer. When you pay for weed control, it shouldn't have to cost you ready to buy. They use the yellow pages. Tonight on the update, our On Your Behalf unit concludes a special investigation into Tumorex. An alleged and very expensive cure that the experts say cures nothing at all. It appears that the hundreds of people who have paid as much as $3,000 for Tumorex treatment will never get their money, but there is a major effort underway now to ensure that nobody else gets taken. So here is Neil Murray with the final part of Tumorex. The ultimate ripoff, Neil. Thank you, Stan. The promoters of Tumorex may soon find themselves in a legal battle with police as investigators are now working on a new case involving cancer fraud. Now, as a consumer tip, that may come as good news to most of us, but for some cancer patients, that may cause some ill feelings. The promotion of Tumorex can be found in several areas of the country. First, in Arizona, where two men are awaiting felony charges for fraud and conspiracy, and it can be traced to an Indian reservation near Reno, Nevada, as well as along the Mexican border in Brownsville, Texas, and San Ysidro, California. Promoters here are careful to take cancer patients to Mexico, thus avoiding prosecution in the United States. But on your behalf has been told that may change soon. More arrests are on the way. And I think that before it's all over with, I'm sure that we're going to be sitting down and we're going to be looking at the possibility of a conspiracy or something of an interstate nature. Because if the tumor X is coming out of the California area, we've got ties to them. I'm sure that there's going to be other ties that are going to be to these people. So I'm sure that before it's all over with, that, uh, that the tumor X, this, this tumor X thing is, is going to really, is just now beginning to surface. I think it's going to, we're just touching the tip of the iceberg. This does not, however, come as such good news to cancer patients in search of a life-saving cure. You go to Mexico, it's illegal. Uh, it's illegal in the eyes of the American Medical Association. In, in other words, what they are saying essentially is, okay, if we cannot help you, you cannot be helped. Is that fair? Not at all. When you're talking about your life, you know, that's, it's pretty scary and if if nobody has anything to offer you here except something experimental, then you're willing to experiment someplace else. I've been to enough of these places to be dubious from the start. On the other hand, uh, you're trying to hang on to life, and uh, you kind of balance out the two. And, and so, you know, nothing really surprises me. For, for you to come along and say the whole thing is a complete fraud, 
I can look you right in the eye and say you're probably right. On your behalf does not want to discourage cancer patients from seeking alternative treatments. We only ask that you weigh heavily the backgrounds of the people you deal with. Otherwise, you could become the victims of the ultimate ripoff. Keep that in mind. It's on your behalf. Well, Neil, uh, as far as Tumorex is concerned, how many Minnesotans were duped or taken by this that you know of? A few dozen, but when you include the whole five-state area, the number really goes up. Okay. All right. Excellent series. Thank you, Neil. Thank Cindy? You. And a sad one, too. Yeah. And another consumer warning. Some child pacifiers, known as loose squeakers, are being recalled.